about sleep disturbances in children. One of the parents has commented that, Ma'am, how to get over the sleep issues? Does it occur in virtual autism too? How long will it take to recover? The parent has a child around 2.5 years and is seeing a lot of improvements in terms of response to name call and eye contact once the screens has been taken away from the child. This is Dr. Jyotsna Tani Gundala from Daffodil CDC Hyderabad. So why the sleep issues or the sleep disturbances are important because even in the adults if you have noticed that if the adult has a sleep disturbance for two days or for three days, definitely your quality of work on the next day is going to get impaired. So similarly, when you take a child, if the child has a sleep disturbance for a day or two, definitely I'm sure many of the parents can see its impact on the behavior of the child. So children will show that an amount of tantrums if they doesn't have a proper sleep in the night. And what happens if these disturbances pers is persistent? For example, if the child is not sleeping properly for about a week of time, definitely you will see a persistence in the behavioral tantrums of the child. And if these two are going to be continuous, you will start noticing changes in the development of the child. When we talk about the development, we are not talking about the height and weight of the child. We are only talking about the language development or cognition development of the child apart from the motor development. So what happens if there is a regular behavioral tantrum, so obviously child is not paying attention to what you are saying and that will impair their learning skills as such. So always please try to correct and maintain a proper sleep schedules to the children. And one simple way is to maintain a schedule their way. So what time they need to get up, what time they need to go to school, what time they will have a play time and then they sleep. And always try to give the dinner early to the children. So try giving dinner around 7 to 8 p.m. and start putting them to sleep by 9 p.m. So please don't wait for the child to fall asleep. These days I see many of the children sleeping after 11 o'clock in the night. It could be because of the various reasons. One of the common reasons which we keep hearing is the parent working schedules or their work shifts. But for the children, as a parent, we should try to maintain their sleep a schedule and their eating schedule as much as possible to the early times of the day. So try to introduce a proper regain to their sleep like taking bath, having dinner, then reading a storybook and then try to put them to the sleep. And in order for a child to sleep what should we do is first thing is everyone has to put off the lights at the home and everyone has to switch off their mobile phones. If you keep indulging in the screen more, definitely the child is not going to sleep. He also wants to come and watch at the screen or he also will try to get up and then play around. So if you want to correct the sleep schedules of the children, the first thing is the behavioral management to it. In the behavioral management, it is the early dinner times, a regular regard and a strict schedules for the children. That is, if you practice these three for about three months, Definitely, I, we expect children will start sleeping early and they will start sleeping at a stretch. Another important point which I missed to tell is the afternoon naps. Try to reduce the naps as much as possible in case if your children have sleep disturbances in the night. So for a few kids what happens is even a 10 minute of nap will recharge their brain batteries. So they will become more and more active and it will be very difficult for parents to put them to the sleep. So, in case if your child has sleep issues, try to take off being of the afternoon nap as much as possible. Like every day try to reduce it by 10 minutes. So, within a month you will be able to wean it off. Don't do it at, in, on a single day in the spawn, but try to do it regularly by reducing 10 to 15 minutes every day. But wake them up at the same point of time. And then give a physical activity to the child in the evening so that these things will help the child's brain to go to the rest little early in the night and in case still if the sleep disturbances are persistent even after this behavior management please meet a child psychiatrist so that they'll be able to recommend certain syrups to you which is mostly safe and that will definitely help the child to go to the sleep and to have a at a stretch sleep of six to eight hours a minimum of eight hours sleep is very important to the children please try to maintain it thank you